here's the thing. We understand what the patriarchy is, right? They created the patriarchy, you know, to put men in boxes and to put women in boxes. But the patriarchy is inherently misogynistic because women get treat, treated like shit historically, right? And it's, in, it's inherently transphobic. So the reason why period is so synonymous with bleeding is because they wanted to exclude trans people and non-binary people. Cis women are not the only ones that experience periods. At the end of the day, whether it's hormones, whether it's your body producing hormones, whether you are a cis woman and have to take hormones, that hormonal period is valid. Not everybody bleeds. And I don't understand why wouldn't you want to be inclusive? Why are you trying to gatekeep? And it's because most cis women feel like their reproduction is the only thing they can offer. They're a female. That's all they have. And that's kind of sad that you broil yourself down to your fucking body parts. Hello? We get our hormonal cycle once a month. If we want to call it a fucking period, we're going to do that. You're just a pick me, trying to collect your bag, act a fool, but it's going to be expanded just like a lot of things in a society. And if you don't like it, you can go over there with the Republicans and your little cishet people. Hello? So what I do is on the first day of school, I make this all about me questionnaire. I give it out. And on there, I'm asking for their pronouns. I want to know what they go by. And then I'm also asking for their names because sometimes there are students who their name is different than what their like legal name is. Mm -hmm. My name is Miss Jade. I use she, her, they, them pronouns. And I have been with Drag Story Hour for more than four years. Miss Jade is a fun, silly uh, performer who loves to dance and laugh. <laughs> My favorite question to kids is if they've ever dressed up for Halloween. And if they answer yes, that means that they've actually done drag before. Can trans people change their biological sex? Let's talk about the science of trans biology. Clinicians and biologists understand sex as a composite variable one that has many attributes, including chromosomes, reproduction, hormones, and anatomy. When a trans person undergoes hormone replacement therapy, it changes many aspects of their biological sex. HRT gives you a hormonal profile identical to that of the sex you transition to, which induces real biological changes in your body. For trans women on HRT, we develop real breasts. Also, female skin texture, female body odor, female body fat distribution, female hair patterns in both body hair and head hair, female muscle mass, female bone density, and even female bone structure if we start HRT early enough. HRT also affects fertility, meaning that it changes the majority of your biological sex characteristics. A trans person in HRT ultimately obtains an intersex collection of biological traits that places them more in line with the sex they transition to than the sex they were assigned at birth. And it's important to classify us as such. For example, my doctor needs to know that I'm hormonally female because my risk of heart disease, bone disease, and most cancers is in line with females due to the reality of my biological sex. Trans people aren't denying or erasing biological sex. We just prove that it's more complicated and changeable than we previously thought. Dreaming, 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 dreaming.